Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'd like to give you an update. Today is, let's see, it's still Monday, July 20th, and it's 3.34 p.m. Uh, just got an update in my email from about Pastor Dave. I thank you, Ellen, for keeping us updated. Um, this is a July 19th update for Pastor Dave. He has been moved. To what's called a special hospital but it's within the same hospital it's in between ICU and a regular floors the way I'm understanding and although I've never heard it called this he was actually able to have um, his Foley catheter for urine removed his pick line where they had to get a lot of IV fluids into him quickly he still has a, a feeding tube because his throat muscles are weak. Um, and his kidney function is not good. So they have to do dialysis three to four times a week. And they got to get his strength back. So he's kind of like in rehab. That's the way I'm looking at it. When people leave the hospital, they normally go to rehab. But this hospital must have their own rehab. Or maybe it's for people who need rehab, but they also need a little extra care because of the feeding tube, which rehabs don't have, and also the dialysis. So that's probably why. It's a good thing he's in a hospital where he didn't have to be transported to one like this. Okay, so I'm just giving you a quick update. You can click on the link in the description box or go to Pastor Dave's channel, The Coming Harpazo, and watch Christy making her first video. Okay, and she's nearly very, nearly tearful, fighting back tears. He's wanting her to take him home. But that would put such a drain on her to try to do. She, she'd have to tr drive, get him in the car, drive him somewhere three to four times a week for the dialysis and do all the tube feedings herself or get a hired nurse. Plus, he's not strong enough. They've got to get his strength back up. That's the purpose of rehab. So, he's where he needs to be, but he's doing better. And he's already had, what huh? God miraculously answered our prayers about the cancer, because it could have been, the way she just described it, it is a miracle that it did not metastasize. As long as it took him to get in and get a colostomy, uh, colonoscopy to check to you know it's just a test to look up there and see what's going on and they found this big tumor got it out and it had gone through the wall and if all things had gone well he could have gone home in three or three and a half days she said but it it developed a leak which allowed feces to get into his beyond where it was supposed to be, which is what caused the sepsis. Okay, so we already know about that. I told you he had the sepsis. Well, now that's cured. Now that that's a very fatal thing. She just admitted she had a cousin who got it and he died. That's when she got tearful, and you know, it's like he God kept him from dying from sepsis, so he's answered that prayer. And so now we're praying for kidney function to return, and for his muscles in his throat to strengthen so he can swallow food. So... I don't know how they do that when you've got a tube down there, but I'm sure they have ways... So anyway, I'm going to end this here and say let's all keep Pastor Dave in our prayers. I pray that you've been praying for him. I know some of you have, and she said there's been other 
prayer groups of people she doesn't even know praying for him. We're probably one of those. So isn't it wonderful when the body of Christ comes together to pray for somebody that the one being prayed for doesn't even know? Or, well, he probably knows me. I've used to watch him a lot. I used to watch a lot of channels a lot when I didn't have so many subscribers and started letting people have my email and you know and then there's the comments so it becomes quite a job <laughs> so but it's an honor to serve the Lord and I'm happy to do it and when we hear of such good praise reports you know it's really it really makes me happy but I do want to pray that he does do well on his therapy, the physical therapy, you know, whatever exercises they have him doing to get his strength back, and that his kidneys will kick in there and do their thing. Through prayer, God can heal him, where he doesn't have to have that for the rest of his life. That could happen. And, um, of course, the, the throat thing. Okay. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, your computers or devices, and your internet connections. And with that, I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.